It has been an amazing journey for all of us during the last nine years since we established Vato Credit here in Mombasa. When we think about our journey so far, it's been amazing. Yes, and uh, starting from Mombasa, where our heart and DNA is, uh, and also starting from Boda Boda business, where it's also part of our DNA. It's been an amazing journey uh, of going ec extra mile and beyond Kenya to Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, DRC, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and many, many more countries. Why electric bikes? This is the question which someone would say, you know, this is the future of the mobility especially two-wheelers in East Africa. I would say this is already reality. This is what we are experiencing today. A lot of companies already started their business here in Kenya or in Uganda or in Tanzania, piloting this innovative product, I believe, which would serve needs even in a better way. Because you think from economical perspective, and that's at least by 50% less heavy on operational costs when you compare electricity price, plus such small thing like a noise <laughs> which disrupt a lot of people on the streets but also very annoying for the riders yes and this vibration during the ride it's also something that they really would like to avoid in ideal world yes so i think that all of us together manufacturers finance riders they we could build this future already today starting from small steps of understanding this product better and how we can upgrade this product to the next level, how to make those bikes durable and strong enough, specifically Boda Boda riders. Because when we are talking about electric bikes, we are not talking about commuter bike, when people are traveling from their home to the office and back. We are talking about daily heavy operations with heavy load, which is important for the Boda Boda riders. So we are specifically focusing on this industry and to support it. When we think about our daily operations and daily operations of our riders, on average our riders are doing around 100 kilometers per day. So if you multiply it by number of clients, it's like, I don't know how many distances around the globe you can, you can cover with it during only one day. Plus, if you think about such indirect support uh, with a um, few liters of petrol, which they are getting every day, it also comes to tremendous number of, of liters per day which they are consuming. And uh, the most important that they are enjoying this ride, I believe, yes, because they know that with Watu, at the end of the loan, they will become the owner of the bike, which is the beauty of empowering entrepreneurs, because it's not only an amazing journey, but also an amazing result. At the end of the loan, you are owner of the bike, you are owner of the life, and you can, you can actually think about next steps. And this is truly amazing when you think and reflect about many, many riders who became not only owners uh, of their own bike, but they become small businessmen and they become own small fleet from one bike, two bikes and more and more. If you think about tuk-tuks, also we have an amazing stories from Mombasa where one woman built an amazing business of more than 80 tuk-tuks with Vato and now she is a big, big fan of Vato because before there were no solutions for that. Now she knows where to go and whom she could ask for the support. I truly believe in the future of electric mobility, simply because all clients are really happy with this product. And that's, that's really the beauty of this product, that the, whenever you put it on the road, you receive immediate positive feedback. I believe, as Vato Credit, our aspiration is to next year is to finance thousands of EV bikes across East Africa and uh, this is our commitment, this is our promise to the clients that we can do it together. We have all necessary basics to make it happen, so we should only do it. <laughs>